Well, today it's kitchen basics because we ran out of uh, chicken stock. So we're gonna show you how to make a really good chicken stock like we did beef stock recently. Really rich, flavorful, dark beef stock. There's a link down below how to make that. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about kitchen economics also uh, on this. I have here a baking sheet, uh, sorry, my oven tray, which is uh, covered with aluminum foil to help with the cleanup. Oh, you big time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get bonus points if I do something clean. <laughs> no, but it, it gets, uh, it, when it roasts, because we're gonna roast the chicken. As I said, we're making stock. And if we were making a broth or uh, a white stock, then uh, we would just be boiling the chicken. But because we want to make a more deeply flavored stock, we're going to roast the chicken first. So onto our tray with all our chicken. Well, it was very successful when we did it with the beef. The, so. the beef was fantastic. Mm. fantastic. It's fantastic, actually. <laughs> uh, and it makes good for sauces, whatever, stews. So many good things you can get out of this. And this is just cheap chicken pieces, cheapest you can find at your butcher. Don't go for anything um, expensive. And if you have a carcass from a rotisserie chicken you did, uh, don't throw those away. Put them in the freezer and use them for this. I'm just going to give them a little bit of oil. Nothing crazy, just to help the roasting a little bit. Nice. Spread the love. Real quick. And you don't have to be either picky about cleaning them up, you know, with this, that, or if there is a little bit of fat here or there, a skin, because this is going to boil for the quite many hours and all of it will render out and give a lot of flavor. This goes into the oven, middle rack, 180, and then we let it roast until it's nice and golden. We're going to flip it along the way so that we get it golden on all sides. Let's move on with our veggies. And I have here some celery, some leek, some onion, and some carrot, so pretty simple uh, base. But this is where the economics come in, because you see, the celery here, we used uh, some stalks of it for uh, sofrito. And now this is becoming a little bit saggy. You definitely don't want to serve this in your Bloody Mary, because it's not, not for this. <laughs> it's perfect. So never throw this away. Use it for your stock or your broth, whatever. I washed it thoroughly, so all I want to do is I want to cut off the end here. And then we're going to chop them roughly. And another thing here, don't take off the leaves when you're making uh, stock because that gives uh, a lot of flavor uh, together with this. You're, obviously, you don't use these when you're doing other cooks, but here they are perfect and they give a lot of flavor. But cut them into nice pieces here. And we continue with our leek and our onion until all of it is chopped and in the bowl. Let's see how our chicken is doing. It's starting to get brown here, it's nice. Now I'm gonna switch to the broiler and brown them up on this side, five minutes, and then I'll flip them over and give them five minutes on the other side, and then they're ready for the pot. Our chicken is nice and golden, as you can see. So now what we have to do is get this into a stock pot. We are using a large 24 liter stock pot here, but if you don't have such a big one, Go with half, all of it in. But I want the meat in the bottom, similar to when we did the, uh, the beef stock, actually. And on top of that, we're gonna go in with all our cut vegetables here. I'm using both red and white onion. That's what I had in the fridge, as I said. Use whatever you have. Use whatever you have so it doesn't go off. And now we're gonna cover this with water and I'm doing this with a second pot because lifting that 24 liter pot around the kitchen ain't an easy feature. I think I need one more pot of water though. Now we're gonna start this on a big burner here so we can bring it up to a boil and then we're gonna move it to a smaller burner because we want this to simmer really slowly. The last things we're gonna put in is a twig of thyme here just with some butcher's twine. There's a little bit left here in the jaw, that can go in. Now this is optional. I have here about 40 black peppercorns. Traditionally, when you do stock, you don't use salt or pepper, but I like the pepper background in the stock here, so that's up to you if uh, you wanna do the same here, but I think it gives a nice background. In with that, just gonna push those things down a little bit. And then the rest is to get a lid on this, bring it up to a boil, 
and then we move it as I said, small burner, low simmer, and for then the foreseeable it, future. Yeah, <laughs> at least four or five hours. We might come in after one and a half hour to check if there is any scum uh, on top, so we can skim the scum. <laughs> but see you in four or five hours. Two hours we have been simmering here, so let's see how we are doing. And and as I said, small burner, slow simmer, and you want it to go like this, but we have no scum to skim, so this is perfect. <laughs> okay. yeah, the reason okay. for that the reason for that is that if you were boiling the meat as you would do for a broth, then you will get some scum. But when you um, brace the meat first, then you don't get you any don't. scum you actually, get or ploop, very little. Ploop, ploop. Yeah. <laughs> and now you want to let it go here for, I don't know, this was two hours. We are going to let it go for... 34 more, for, for sure. sure. For sure, for sure. And then we will see you at the <laughs> end see you with, with the end product, and that will be tomorrow. <laughs> well, we switched it off last night and let it rest overnight. And we started up again this morning, so we've been going for what eight plus hours of boiling now. Definitely, so yeah. Let's see where we are. Ooh. We had quite some reduction actually uh, from the top level we had before, and the color is really deep. That's very nice. So I think we're going to switch this off and let it cool a bit, so we can clean off, strain, and see how it looks. And now comes the tedious work of cleaning up our stock. And we have to take out most of the solids with our spider here before we start straining it, because otherwise this is going to splatter all over your kitchen. And we don't want that. But make sure to let it drip. And then we put all of this into a bowl. Just like that. I'm going to continue with all of it until we are able to start with the strainer. And now comes the heavy job. We have to strain this, but I'm going to strain it into some smaller balls so it's easier to handle when we pour it in uh, tappers afterwards. And will you look at the color on this? This is just beautiful. I mean, beautiful rich chicken stock that's been boiled for a long time, condensed flavors. This is excellent for soups or sauces or whatever. So all we have to do now is to add it to deli containers and then we're going to freeze it and we have stock for, I don't know what Eternity. Yeah, we have about 18 liters of the stuff here, so <laughs> good yield. <laughs> 